Hello, hello, and welcome to our first set of battles in Season 3 of Go Battle League. Um, so, last time I'd say, I guess last season we did fairly well. We were able to end up in rank 8 with a battle rating of 22-29. So, all in all, I'd say we did. We closed that one out pretty well. Admittedly, though, we did go a little bit short on the recordings at least on i think we ended with like six episodes in total for the entire season so hopefully we'll be able to increase that just a little bit this time around but in any event with all that said we'll go ahead and jump into our very first set of battles and i think to commemorate we'll go ahead and start off by risking it with a premium rewards uh, by spending out a premium battle pass obviously <laughs> But in any event, once again, we're starting out in Great League, and this time around, I'm willing to try out a couple of the changes that came with the Season 3, um, which we did expand on, I think, in a news video, which you can watch up here. Um, but first off, I'm going to start off with Obama Snow with his new moves. Um, next up, I'm going to try... I'm going to run with an Alolan Marowak that I actually got during Pokemon Go Fest, um, and I'll be closing out with a Galarian Stunfisk, so... We'll definitely see how this one goes. Alright, and our first matchup is against Ki Kiaira 1. Yeah, I'm, Ki I'm guessing it's Kiaira 1. Kiaira 1, something like that. Alright, and first matchup is against Alolan Ninetales, so I'm definitely starting off at a disadvantage here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out for my Stunfisk, who is taking quite a beating himself. I did not prepare myself well against fire types, have I? Ah, oh, well. When in doubt, throw more rocks at him. <laughs> and so, so far, I'm taking a good amount of damage on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and shield this attack, because I don't want to deal with it. It is Heat Wave. I'm very glad I shielded. And go ahead and repeat the process and throw more rocks at Ninetales. Alright, so at the very least we were able to get rid of both shields, so that's very nice. Go ahead and see if I can get to one more rock slide. Galarian Stunfisk is an absolute beast, not gonna lie. <laughs> Got a chance to try him out a little bit at the end of Season 2, so I'm very happy with the result. Alright, but next up we don't have much time to celebrate as we're up against a Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, I'll go ahead and block this one out, because I want to see if I can get to Earthquake in time. I don't know if I can, but here's hoping... Yeah, we are. Oh, man. The shield was worth it, hopefully. Should be able to get some good damage with this Earthquake. We KO'd the Stunfisk, and our final matchup is against Stantler. Hmm, interesting. Alright, gotta switch back in Obama Snow and see what he can do with this weather ball. Chuck a weather ball. Oh, it does actually really good damage. <laughs> I, I guess so. So much so that I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Alright, so lesson learned here, save Galarian Stunfisk as much as I can because that thing is a beast. <laughs> oh, and Obama Stone did really well too, but uh, nonetheless, uh, GG's, Kiaira won, GG's. But, yeah, fortunately we were able to start that off with a win, so. Good news, 100% win rate so far. Hey! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> I guess, let's see if we can keep it up. Alright, next matchup against Wabamski. 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 Yeah, let's see what you got, Wabamski. Alright, first matchup is against a Skarmory, so we'll definitely be taking some super effective damage here, and we're really only dishing out some neutral damage, but mm, I have some faith in my Obama Snow. Let's see how far we can take this. Got off the first weather ball, doing pretty solid. Gonna shield this next attack, cause I don't want to deal with it. Betting sky attack. There it is. 
There's also a possibility that the Skarmory knows, um, what do you call it, Brave Bird as well, so that's something to look out for. It's, that move has dealt a lot of pain to a lot of people. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately I'm going to go ahead and call it the end of my Obama Snow R.I.P. Alright, and with that, I think I'm going to respond in kind with my Alolan Marowak. We should be able to finish this off. Alright. Good on that end. Alright, but next up we've got ourselves a Zumarill. So that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> Alright. Decided to block off with the shield. That's fine, that's fine. We're okay here. Um, kinda sort of. We are taking a substantial amount of damage uh, thanks to this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and tank this. It is Ice Beam, it doesn't hurt as much, so that's kinda good. Really, it's the fast move that's kinda concerning me at this point. But let's see if they're willing to sacrifice. They have sacrificed both of their shields, so that's kinda good. Let's see if I can get to one more Shadow Ball, and I unfortunately cannot. R.I.P. Marowak, you have served well. I am going to go ahead and block this attack because I don't want to deal with it. It is play rough. I really didn't need to block it, I guess. <laughs> but now for the tried and true moment of throwing more rocks at my opponent. It... Well, it didn't do as much as I hoped. <laughs> Truth be told. Alright, and I believe this next one is... probably Ice Beam? I don't know, it's either Ice Beam or Play Rough. It's Play Rough. I'm fine. We're all fine here. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck more rocks at him. Tried and true strategy, really. Decided to switch out for their Medicham, which is doing a hefty amount of damage against me. And I might be able to fart. Okay, I got too greedy. <laughs> eh, Rockside probably wouldn't have killed Medicham, honestly. So, uh, unfortunately, this marks my first loss of this season. Um, but GG's, GG's. Uh, what was it? Wabamski. I think it was Wabamski. Was it close? I think it was close. But. Nonetheless, GG's, GG's once again. Alright. Alright, next matchup is against Willow Cairo. Alright, Willow, what you got? Alright, first matchup is against a Vigoroth, so its counter is definitely going to be a major pain to deal with. But, I can go ahead and chuck a Weather Ball. So that's that, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out for my Galarian Stunfest, who is also um, really having a hard time tanking out against this. <laughs> but throw more rocks at him, manage to get the shield out of the way, manage to get both shields out of the way, surprisingly. And I'm going to go ahead and shield this because there's a possibility that it might know Bulldoze. It is Brick Break. I'm going to be completely honest with you, I wasn't expecting Brick Break. But I'm going to go ahead and shield once again because I think it's Brick Break again? Yeah, it's Brick Break again. So, yeah, there's that. That's very interesting. And I'm guessing it's going to be Brick Break once again because I think Brick Break is a pretty spammy move if I recall correctly. It is Brick Break. Um, fortunately, my Galarian Stunfist took it like a champ. Oh, I really wasn't expecting Brick Break. It's different. <laughs> Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch out for my uh, Lola Marowak. Hoping that this next move is not Bulldoze and they haven't been tricking me into this moment. It is Brick Break once again. I am perfectly fine. <laughs> Alright, but I did attempt to test out the whole Fire Blast thing, so this is definitely gonna be taking quite a while. But, in the meantime, they will definitely be chipping away a little bit at my health. Actually, I'm going to attempt to see if Shadow Ball can actually finish off this Vigoroth. 
I know Shadow Ball pretty much does Jack Daily Squat, but it had very little health, so good news, it worked. <laughs> Alright, so next up is Gengar. Which would be scary if it weren't for the fact that I had Shadow Ball at the ready. Should be able to take him out just like that. And with that, our last round is against Rhyhorn, who has quickly taken care of my uh, Marowak. But now I should be able to respond, hopefully with enough to get to Energy Ball. I think should be doing four times damage, so that's kind of nice against this right horn. And we managed to seal the deal. Uh, GG's, GG's Cairo. Really solid start. That Vigoroth has taken up pretty much like all the health from like everyone on my team, so you know, that was solid. <laughs> all right, so now we're jumping into match number four against Michael Simpson 1. The original Michael Simpson. Alright, and our first matchup is against a Raichu, or a Lolan Raichu, and I'm currently experiencing apparently a weak connection, so that's gonna be a thing. Uh, but, we will now be facing off against a Solrock, interestingly enough. I was definitely not expecting Solrock of all creatures, but I am losing health fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and change out for my. Galarian Stuntrisk. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and shield this because truth be told I have no idea what Solrock's moves even are. It is Psychic, so if that's the only move it knows, we should be perfectly fine. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and chuck some rocks at our good friend Solrock. And they decided to shield it, so that means we have a good opportunity to throw more rocks freely at this soul rock. I'm not expecting to do a lot of damage, but we should be doing just enough. Should be good. And can we close it out? We have closed out the soul rock before it got to its next move, so sorry. Alright, and now we gotta deal with what's that? Escavalier. Fortune or I guess fortunate unfortunately? Fortunately? I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, we should be able to do some pretty good damage with Earthquake. In fact, we got a one-hit wonder out of that one. So, nice. Solid. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can tank it out with Galarian Stunfisk. Get his Thunder Punch. We are actually okay. That is honestly incredible. Uh, but unfortunately, I got greedy, so I'm not able to use my charge attacks. I guess I could use the shield, but... We're fine. R.I.P. R.I.P. Galarian Stunfisk. You will be missed. But let's see if we can close it out with this Weather Ball. We came close. We came close to closing it out with that. But now ultimately, managed to get the win on that. Uh, GG's. GG's once again. I apologize, I'm blanking on your name. Was it Michael? I don't know why I'm thinking Michael. But GG's, GG's nonetheless. Alright, so I believe this is our final match against GT Buzzfan12. Alright, GT Buzzfan, what you got? First matchup, Galarian Meowth. Here we go. Switching out immediately. Going with the Stunfisk. Alright, now truth be told, I'm not entirely sure what moves... Is it Preserker? It's Foul Play! Interesting. Uh, let's see, and they've decided to swap out with Caracosta. So this is gonna be a thing. So let's see if they shield or if they take it. They have decided to shield. That's not ideal for me. Uh, but uh, we're not able to get to the rocks in time. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and block this because it could be possible that's water, I'm assuming. It is Surf. Right. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and chuck some rocks at this guy. Alright. 
And we're able to switch out. And hopefully I'll be able to survive this with a bomb of snow. I have faith in you. Don't die on me. It is surf. It doesn't hurt too much. We're okay. We're okay. By some miracle, we're okay. I hope it's not due to like any form of like lag or anything. That'd be kind of a bummer. But we're okay. Everything's fine. It's Needle Key Queen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um I don't know why I did that. Uh with that, I'm gonna go ahead and chuck you back out. And I have rocks at the ready. I actually don't think this is gonna do like any form of like substantial damage, to be told. I probably should have waited for Earthquake. I don't know why I didn't. Speaking of, I think that Needle Queen might know Earthquake. I might be in trouble. Mm. Hey, Sludge Wave! I'm okay! We're fine here. Everything's kind of okay. Can Glaring Stumpfist have this much health? No, I'll preserve the Stunfisk as much as can. Protect the Pancake at all costs. Dang it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can be greedy. I can. I cannot, actually. I cannot afford to be greedy. That's kind of a bummer. Or can I? No, I can't. Foul play was enough. Alright, so next up we have... Uh, let's see if I can close it out with Shadow Ball. We got ourselves a Shadow Ball. Is it enough neutral damage? I don't want to get hit by foul play. We're okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, GT. Oh my gosh. <laughs> GG's GT. GT GG's. But yeah. Uh, GG's all around. And with that, we're able to close out with four out of five wins. So I'll take it. I'll take four out of five. Starting out very strong, very positive, and starting out with an encounter with Pidgeot. That's right, you get a guaranteed Pidgeot at rank 1 for some reason. Maybe they're hinting at well, yeah, um, major importance of Pidgeot for season for the Flying Cup Pokemon? Maybe it's just to promote Flying Cup? I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever use a Pidgeot. But... Pidgeot's a good looking Pokemon at least. I don't know. I like Pidgeot. And we got ourselves a brand new Pidgeot. Might as well check out its IVs, see what we're looking at. Fairly solid, fairly solid. Uh, I'll hang on to you for now. I might transfer later, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided on that. But in any event, go ahead and claim the rest of the rewards. We got ourselves a fast TM, 900 Stardust, 6 rare candies. And we can go ahead and claim these rank rewards in which we move our way up to rank... Two. <laughs> and we got 4,000 starters. Thanks. Alright, so all in all, starting out pretty strong with 4 out of 5 wins, so I'll take that. Um, yeah, in any event, I guess that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you liked it, you can go ahead and hit that like button, maybe even consider subscribing as well. And with all of that said, I will see you guys in the next video.